Welcome back, Electric Racers, to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Dark Violet version on the GBA emulator. Last episode, we have defeated Koga. I'm sorry, not Koga, Sabrina, and got ourselves to Soul Badge. In today's episode, let me just show you real quick. I am going to be making my way down to Cinnabar Island and that is where we are going to be ending at, at in today's video um, if you guys are new to the channel please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button as it helps the series helps us helps me know that you guys are all enjoying the series a lot is by just seeing all the views I'm getting and the hours that are being watched on the videos. If you are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and join the Electric Racers today. Um, let me just go over the team real quick. We have Madame Rouge, Danito Queen, who's holding the Poison Barb, who's very close to leveling up to 55, with the moves Earthquake, Earth Power, Cotton Sludge Bomb, Flamey the Charizard, Holding the focused band because Flamey is very weak to rock types. Four times weak to rock, weak to uh, and weak to electric because Flamey is weak to water, electric, and rock because because of those because of the weak type weaknesses. Uh, and Flamey knows the moves: flame burst, fly, flamethrower, fire fang. Next we have Anger the Primeape, who is not holding anything because I figured he is doing great. He is doing good. Um he is just anger. <laughs> but he knows to move seismic toss, iron wheel, cross chop, and rock smash. Next we have Surfy the Vaporeon at level 55. About three quarters of the way to 20, 56. Has to move, has the ability of hydration. Um, so I just gotta wait for a. Wait for the. Wait for a move. TM or a move. Wait for either the TM for Rain Dance or wait for a Surfy to learn Rain Dance. Um, so then that ability would be awesome. And then I'll be getting rid of Extreme Speed for hydration. And Surfy hatched at level 1 as an Eevee in Vermilion City. Mr. Next we have Mr. Drevis the Mismagius, who's holding the spell tag which raises the stats of ghost type moves. And, no, and Mr. Drevis knows the moves Mean Look, Shadow Ball, Psybeam, and Pain Split. And next, and finally, we have Magni the Magnazone at level 57, holding the Quick Claw because that is the slowest Pokemon on the team. Um, and Magni knows the moves Discharge, Flash, Thunderbolt, and Flash Cannon. So not too bad at all. So yeah, today we're just going to be making our way to... Actually, you know what? I'm sorry. First, I'm going to go to the Move Relearner. So I'll be right back in one second. And I'm back. We just have to go down these stairs right here. Go into this door over here, and this will take you to underground storage. Talk to this guy right here. Nope. The person right here. Yes. So yes, I am going to have Magni forget Flash. Because I don't think I'll be needing Flash.
Sorry about that little pause for a minute there. Just wanted to get out of there quickly. So I'm just gonna fly back to Pallet real quick. Have Flamey use fly for us. Check in on mom again on here to see how she's doing. EG, you should take a quick rest. So she heals up the Pokemon for us. Oh good, you and your Pokemon are looking great. Take care now. Thank you mom. So while I am here, I'm just going to go in the TM case. Just to see if I picked up the TM for... Um... Thunder, which I do not think I have that yet. No, I don't. So for right now, Magni is not going to have a fourth move for now. So let's just have Surfer use Surf for us. And let's head on our way to Cinnabar. But first, I am going to... If I have any. Of course I don't have any. This is going to be very interesting. So we're on Route 21 and uh, this is going to be a lot of Pokemon here. 40, level 42 Pelipper. So not too bad, a good level. Let's just go for Magni and see if... So... Just to see if Magni can get any closer to level 58. Let's go for Discharge. Pelipper is four times weak to electric, with it being water and flying. And there goes the Pelipper with an unnecessary critical hit. So not too bad at all. Now we'll be taking on all the challengers on this route as well. Level 29 Tentacool. Madame Rouge should be able to handle this, because if it being part of poison, that's super effective. And there goes Tentacool. I got a big haul. Want to go for it? Yes, I do want to go for it. I'm on my way to Cinnabar Island, and I want to take on all the challengers along the way. We are against Fisherman Wade, ladies and gentlemen. Who sends out a Magikarp? Level 46 Magikarp. Wow. Alright, let's go for a cut on this thing. I believe this guy's got 6 Magikarp, so, but I could be wrong. Madame Rouge goes level 55. Those are her stats, so pretty good stats. Mostly for speed. Here comes another magic orb. Let's let everybody have a shot today. I hope nobody can take out Flaming. Uh, let's go for fly. Only because the other moves are, are not very effective. Magic orb misses tackle. And we take out magic orb with fly. Not too bad. Here comes a third magic orb. Alright, let's send out Anger. Go for a cross chop, and of course we have to miss. So there goes, we hit the cross chop that time. With a critical hit, there goes the magic card. Here comes a fourth magic card. Time for Surfy. I'm just gonna be using extreme speed for Surfy. Only because Magikarp and Surfy are both water type Pokemon. Let's just go for extreme speeds. Not too bad, we got some damage done on that. Let's use one more just to take it out. So there goes the Magikarp. Here comes another Magikarp. Time for Mr. Dravis. Alright, let's use Shadow Ball. And 
And there goes the magic card. Next up is another ma one final magic card. Let's let everybody have a battle this turn. This this match. All right, Magni, use Thunderbolt. And there goes the six magic arts. We defeat a fisherman raid. <laughs> magic arts just don't make the grade, do they? No, but if you had six Gyaradoses, that would be, that could be a little trouble. So back on the water again to go down here. You want to know if the fish are biting? Yes, I do want to know if the fish are biting. We are against Fisherman Rhinold, who sends out a Seeking. Level 47 Seeking. Let's go for earth Earthquake. Took it out with one shot, nice. Next up is a Goldeen. Let's send out, um, Anger. I think Anger can do good. Alright, Cross Chop. There should go Goldeen, and yep, there goes Goldeen. Another Seeking, let's just stay in. Use another cross chop to almost take out Seeking. Waterfall is a hit, supposed to be a hidden machine. Uh, let's just take it out with Iron Wheel. I know it's not very effective, but Seeking was very weak anyway. Here comes another Seeking. Yeah! Alright, I will after my video. Alright, so, can you, sorry about that. I'm gonna use Rock Smash. Seeking's using another Waterfall again. Go for a Cross Chop to try to take it out. We defeated Fisherman Ronald. Dang. Each, we got 3,384 for winning. Just gotta heal up real quick. And I'm back, sorry about that. So we are continuing all the way down and we have two trainers right here. Huh? A battle? Ian, can't you do it alone? Looks like we're itself a double battle, ladies and gentlemen. So we're against Sis and Bro, Lil and Ian. Who sends out a Cedra and a Storm. Both could be very troubling. So I'm just gonna use Earthquake and fl and fly on Stormy only because Cedra could have a poison point. So Stormy's confusing Madame Rouge. That could be trouble for us. Flamey flew up in the air. Uses Twister. And tw apparently Twister hits also in the air. So that could be trouble. Alright, Madame Rouge is confused and uses Earthquake again, so hopefully that'll take both of them out at once. There goes Cedra. And there goes Stormy. So not too bad. We defeated Sis and Bro, Lil and Ian. Oh, see, we lost. Happy now? We got. 116 for winning, ladies and gentlemen. Head over here, because I know there's a trainer right here. 
and he's a wild tentacle. I'm just gonna run from them. The sea cleanses my body and soul. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. E.G. versus Swimmer Spencer, who sends out a Seedra. Level 52 Seedra. Let's go for Earth Power. That almost takes that out. We're in trouble. Yeah, that did a whole bunch to us. Alright, let's take it out with a cut. Next up is a tentacle. Oh, that's perfect for us. We can actually stay in and use Earthquake against this thing. So there goes Tentacool. And we defeated Swimmer Spencer. Ah, yeah. We got 2,544 for winning. So, time for another Hyper Potion. Sorry about that once more. Just had to make sure we're fully healed up. This is the downfall for not having any repels, ladies and gentlemen. Too many wild Pokemon. Oh, and here's a trainer right up here. Hey, don't scare away the fish. Sorry about that, man. Just trying to get the Cinnabar. We're against Fisherman Cloud Cloud A, ladies and gentlemen. Who sends out a level 52 cloister. Let's go for a sludge bomb. We just take it out of the sludge bomb. And Madame Rouge gets to level 56. Not too bad. Comes out another cloister. Let's send out Mr. Drevis. See what Mr. Drevis can do. Mr. Drevis is close to level 56 as well. Go for a Shadow Ball. And there goes Cloister again. Mr. Drevis gets to level 56. And we defeated Fisherman Cloud A. Sorry, I'm just so frustrated from not catching anything today. That's okay, I completely understand. We got 3,816 for winning. Sorry about that, just had to switch some Pokemon around. So I have Surfy up front now, only because we're getting really close, I have a feeling. Keep me company till I get a hit. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. EG versus Fisherman Nolan, who sends out a Seeking. Not too bad of a level either. Let's go for extreme speeds on these on this thing. I might have to start using Osmosis soon. They just got a critical hit on us. Is it gonna be five times? I believe that's five. Yep. Yeah, so I guess I might have to start using osmosis soon. Which I don't want to do that yet, but I might have to. Critical hit one, two, three, four, four. Alright, let's see how much we can get back with Osmosis. We take it out, and we get a little bit back. Not too bad. Surf so gets level 56. Physical attack and 
physical defense we're almost at 100 not too bad next up is another seeking I'm gonna switch out to anger all right let's go for let's go for a rock smash again Ooh, that did a really nice critical hit. And we got this defense fall, that's awesome. One, two, three. Only three times. Uh, let's take it out with another iron wheel. And there goes the seeking again. Anger is almost at level 56. That burns some time. We got 3,744 for winning. I hope you all are having an amazing day today. Cause my I am having a really good day today myself. And here's another battle. Ah feel the wind feel the sun in the wind. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. E.G. versus Swimmer Loland, who sends out a Polyrath. Alright, let's go for a cross chop and see if we can take this thing out in one shot. And of course we don't, but but he's gonna get recoil damage back. And does that put him in range for his seismic toss, or does it not? Yes, it does. So there goes the Polyrath. Anger grows to level 56. Now it comes coming out as a Tentacruel. Let's switch out to Flaming. Flaming is almost at level 56. Let's just start using Fly again. Just, just to avoid moves. And of course, Oh, Sludge Wave. I was like, oh, please don't let it be Shock Wave. But Sludge Wave. That could poison us, and of course it does. Go figure. Well, Flamey. I guess I gotta send out Mr. Drevis now. Sludge Wave will not be very effective against Mr. Drevis. Because of it being a ghost type. But let's just use a Psyle Beam. Because that is super effective against Tentacruel. So it does a little bit of damage to us. We do a whole bunch of damage to him. To the Tentacruel. Go for another Psy Beam. To almost take it out. And it's trying to lower the physical defense when Sludge Wave is a special attack, not a physical attack. So there goes our Tentacruel. Next up is another Seeking. Uh, let's just stay in. Go for his Shadow Ball on this as well. We almost take it out. It's going to be using Waterfall on us. Alright, let's go for Psybeam. Just to take it out. So there is a Seeking. So we defeated Swimmer Roland. What? Yow, I lost. We got 2,496 for winning. Not too bad. Sorry about that, just wanted to just wanted to switch the team up a little bit and heal them up. 
Looks like we officially made it to our destination, ladies and gentlemen. We can see Cinnabar Island. And here comes here's level 26 Wingle. Let's see if it's perfect for Flamey to get to level 56. Sorry about that, Wingle, I had no choice. Flamey still isn't there yet. Alright, let's defeat this trainer real quick. Right now, I'm in a triathlon meet. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. EG versus Swimmer Jerome, who sends out a Stormy. That could be a little trouble for us. So let's just go for a fly and see if we can stay up in the air and take this thing out. Tried to use recover, so it wasted recover. But it lands confused right. Of course. Alright, Flamey, can you. Can the lucky duckies be on our side to take out this stormy? Fire Fang hits. We almost take it out, but we burn it at least. And it's gonna take itself out by a burn. That is amazing. There goes Stormy. Flamey grows to level 56. Flamey is doing really good today and is trying to learn Fire Spin. 35 damage? Um, sorry, Flamey. I'm gonna say no for that. Yeah, sorry. No Fire Spin. Yeah, no, sorry. Next up is the Blastoise. Let's send out Magnazone. Let's send out Magni. Let's see if Magni can get to level 58. Look at this. Look at this sprite for that Blastoise. Let's see if we can hit. Let's see if we can either take out this Blastoise or paralyze it with Thunderbolt. And we end up taking it out. Magni almost gets to level 58, not too bad. Pant. We got 2,544 for winning. Not too bad. And we have officially made it to Saffron City, ladies and I'm sorry, to Cinnabar Island. Cinnabar Island, the fiery town of burning desire. And that is going to be it for this episode of Let's Play Pokemon Dark Violet version on the GBA emulator. If you guys are new to the channel again, please hit that subscribe button and join the Electric Racers today. And be aware, starting in September, I will be starting to have I will have a Discord server for my friends on Discord. So if you want, to, if anybody wants to be on, wants to be in it. I will have both of my accounts in that server, so I will have both of my names of my accounts in the description below. So thank you all so much for watching, and have a great day everybody.